in America, pickup trucks abound. They're everywhere. And in many markets, that's the case. In fact, um, you know, my family owns a few pickup trucks. I've owned pickup trucks in the past. It's actually my favorite vehicles. My, my family is kind of partial to Fords. I've always uh, owned Toyotas. I've had a 91 Toyota pickup, regular cab, four-wheel drive. thing was a beast. I also had a uh, Toyota Tundra crew cab, and I loved both those vehicles. But here in China, pickup trucks aren't really a thing. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Rojo Reason News. I am your host, Paul. Remember, if you like what you see, please consider supporting me. Today, I have an article that is talking about the pickup truck revolution. I've talked about this before on my vlog channel many, many times, walking around car shows and whatnot, and I see evidence of this uh, all around me. Uh, Chinese Chinese automakers are starting to realize the, the, uh, the profitability of pickup trucks, and you're starting to see them exported to places like Australia and South Africa from companies like Great Wall Motors. The main reason why pickup trucks aren't really a thing is because of many of the laws here, especially in the bigger cities where pickup trucks are not allowed to be driven in the center of many major Chinese cities. Those laws are changing and you're gonna see a huge explosion in pickup trucks in China. This article comes from Motor Biscuit and I'm happy to share it with you. Okay, so smaller than a Ranger or Colorado, this is the Wuling Motors 2021 Zhengtu from China. Though small, based on capacity figures, there is plenty of cargo and passenger space. And surprisingly, they look pretty stylish. The question is, would a truck like this sell in the US? Could these small pickups be the next big thing in trucks? I get this question a lot actually, is what is the best selling car in China? And uh, you know, a lot of people might think it's like the Toyota Corolla or some homegrown sedan or maybe even an SUV, but it's not. It's a, it's a Wuling um, bread van, which is a small little um, utility van. You can outfit it for passengers, but it is the workhorse. Because these laws exist, that work trucks, pickup trucks are not allowed into the major cities. So these little vans that are very affordable and rugged and very mechanically very simple uh, are abound here. And um, the, the best selling one is by this company, Wuling, which also has ownership by General Motors. Some Wuling vehicles are sold outside China as Chevrolets. Did you know that? Like I said, Wuling is partially owned by General Motors. You know, it's, it's, um, I like this uh, old style bed with the hooks on the outside. I kind of dig it. It's kind of rugged looking, you know? Uh, in, in a world where pickup trucks are all starting to look the same, I like, you know, departures, you know, throwbacks to old times or something bold. But if you notice, look at the size of the tires on this thing. You know, this is a delivery truck. This is not an off-roader <laughs> by any means. Some Wuling vehicles are sold outside of China's Chevrolet products. GM and Wuling's parent company, Sayak, is a joint venture in China. So if these met U.S. safety and emission regulations, they could conceivably be sold here. However, while we wouldn't think it could meet U.S. crash standards, it does meet China's National 6 standards. That is one of the most stringent emission standards in the world. That's right. We've talked about this. I think um, Al Gore had something about um, um, our inability to sell in the Chinese market because we don't meet emission standards. And Chinese cars being... In a, and Chinese cars being unable to be sold in North American markets because they don't meet safety standards. Ruling did some micro trucks in 2005 and 2006 to the US, but these were sold for private property use and not registered for highway usage. But keep in mind that Wuling is not a small company. It makes millions of vehicles each year, mostly for China. Overall, the Zhengtu is right at 200 inches long. I personally haven't seen this truck on the road here. Overall, the Zhengtu is right around 200 inches long with a two, with a with a 124 inch wheelbase. As a comparison, the Ford Ranger comes in at almost a foot longer at 211 inches with a 127 inch wheelbase. So there are much longer overhangs on the Ranger than the Zhengtu pickup. That explains the capacity similarities while coming in much shorter. With a bed length of 78.7 inches and a width of 78.7 inches, it is longer and wider than a Ranger bed, which is at 72 by 44.8 inches. It beats the Colorado bed length at 74.4, but falls short of the width of 57.8 inches. Still, the 2021 Zhengtu has a surprisingly competitive cargo capacity to larger U.S. midsize pickups. Power comes from a 1.5 liter gas-powered engine rated at 99 horsepower. 
<laughs> it's a screamer. While no powerhouse, we wonder if it could use a turbocharger to spice things up where it is to be sold here. But nobody would buy a Jung 2 for racing. Fuel economy is listed at 62 miles per gallon in a truck. So where you lose power, you make up in the economy. In all, we would love to test one of these Jung 2 pickups just to see how it performs on the highway and hauling. Both emissions and capacity are covered by Wuling, so it could... So if it could meet crash standards, the Jung 2 has a chance of being sold here. With a volume of vehicles that Cy excels worldwide, sales in the U.S. would probably be small potatoes. But the pickup selling like crazy here, it makes sense that something quirky like the 2021 Jung 2 just might sell more than would be expected. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? So what do you think about this truck? Is this something that you would consider purchasing for yourself? I mean, they are very affordable. They're usually mechanically very simple, so that means they're very economical to maintain long term. What do you think? Comment below. Let me know. Fcustom.com is where you can go to get customized jerseys such as the one I have on right now. You can get them in baseball, basketball, and football. They are completely 100% your choosing. These make great gifts. They're wonderful for corporate teams, little leagues, your small business, families, or just a gift to a special someone. Hit the link below and enter the coupon code WALKABOUTROHO for an additional 10% off your purchase. Don't forget to check out my main vlog channel, WALKABOUTROHO. My general life here in China and throughout Asia. We'll see you there.